Coming as a surprise to no one, Blizzard has introduced Pay to Win into classic Wrath of the Lich King. That's right. They've thrown in the towel. They've given up. They've surrendered. And they're being paid for it. Because Blizzard today announced that the WoW token is now available in Wrath of the Lich King Classic Realms. Let's log on and let's take a look at it for ourselves. Because it's one thing to hear about it, it's another thing to see about it. So let's take a look at it. Uh, we're going to look at Wrath of the Lich King Classic and we're going to log on. Let's buy like 10 of them and that way I can buy something out of a GDKP. And then I can play the game, finally. I haven't been on Wrath in a long time. Long, long time. That's how long. Okay, let's actually just see how many people are on my server, slash who. Six people on the server in Stormwind. Is there anybody doing Old War? No? How about Nax? No? How about Dalaran? One guy. One person. Wow, that's more than I expected. And there's the WoW token right there. And it is 12,000 gold. So for the low price of $20 right now, I can buy 12,000 gold in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Let's see what the community has to say about this. Hey guys, who else is excited about WoW tokens coming to Wrath of the Lich King. Um. Me, I can finally buy Mount Runs now. Fake Asmongold. There's like two people. Wow, real Asmongold. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the real Asmongold. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Fuck you. Uh, how many WoW tokens... <laughs> how many WoW tokens do I need to join? What's he gonna say? Or how much gold do I need to join? As a buyer. Okay, so fuck this guy. You can join if if have budget 5k. Okay, that that's nothing. That's only ten dollars. That's yeah, it's a joke. Okay. How much gold do I need to join as a buyer? Let me ask this person right here, because I want to get I want to get the dollar amount right for hybrid mi buyer minimum budget 5k. OK, we see now that the WoW token is in WoW Classic. How do you guys feel about this? Uh, you know, does this feel like uh, th does this feel like how it used to be? Who cares? Fun equals money changes nothing. No one is surprised. Still cheaper on the website. Lizard movement. I think this is a lizard situation. I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck, guys. I, I do think this is a uh, this is a lizard situation. Blizzard just cares about money as usual. I mean, I will be honest. This is a surprise to me. Like I didn't think that it was gonna be. I didn't think they were gonna do it until like after Wrath. But I think like now that they know like because obviously like the big. Uh, like they want to have, like they want to have it in the game, and part of the culture. So by the time ICC comes out and everybody wants to buy Shadowmorn, they'll know exactly what to do. So like this is actually smart for them to release it this early, as long as it's not in Classic Vanilla. Well, no, that probably won't be until next year. Uh, there's still a lot of people playing the game. Well, that's nice. How cute. And as you guys can see here. Uh, yep. And it's going up. The price is going up. Holy shit, man. How do the tokens work? It's pretty simple. Uh, the token, you buy a token for real money. 
and then you sell a token to somebody who wants to be able to pay for a, a month of game time. And it's not Battle.net balance right now, it's just game time. But you sell the token and then uh, you get the gold. It's basically a way for somebody to buy and sell gold. It, it's, it's that simple. Yeah, picture explains it. I mean, th there you go. So anyway, uh, obviously Blizzard added this into the game uh, because I, I think that you know, this, is, this is what I said, right? I said, sad to see Blizzard throw in the towel regarding RMT moderation. WoW token itemizes all activities in the game and turns them into a dollar amount. Kingslayer achievements will be the new Wrath of the Lich King version of the Head of the Curve. Kingslayer is the title you get for killing Arthas, uh, the Lich King. So uh, yeah, that's just the way it is, exactly. Why not just buy? It's legal RMT, basically. Well, it's not legal RMT, basically. It's legal RMT. That's that's actually what it is. It literally allows people to spend real money to buy gold in the game. Flat out. There's no exceptions. There's no theoreticals to this. It's that simple. Easier than dealing with bots and farmers. And, and this is really what Blizzard has decided here. Is that they've decided that they are going to give up uh, fighting bots. They're going to give up trying to uh uphold the tos they're gonna get paid for not doing it can't beat them join them yeah well not can't beat them it's don't beat them uh they didn't even try let's be honest here guys so let's see if we can pull up the uh the classic wow subreddit uh they're really happy about this by the way so let's read the top post uh it says rule four is officially suspended uh since this sub came out uh, we've upheld the rule against discussion of private servers and cheats, etc. on the basis of good faith that Blizzard would be running Classic to a certain standard. That standard has been pretty fucking low for a very long time now, but it's clear today that the mask of integrity has totally fallen from the face of greed. As such, feel free to discuss other options to play other versions of Classic in the way that has a higher integrity than what Blizzard has to offer. Any bans for Rule 4 will be overturned on appeal. So is Reddit mods are wild? Yeah, I mean, obviously Blizzard can just shut this down. It's not even a big deal, right? But it's still funny to see it happen. And uh, so they're taking it well. Yes, they're very not happy about it. And, um, uh, you know, my perspective on this is always, uh, I think it's naive to think that classic WoW, like private servers, are somehow going to be more ethical than uh, Blizzard. Uh, the truth is everybody needs to make money, and some private servers sell items outright. I think Warmain does this. And then you have other servers that uh, probably do it under the table. Uh, like, obviously, they don't announce this. Like, so here's here's kind of like what would happen, right? Is like, let's say you have $10,000, and you talk, you know somebody on the mod team of this server, and you give them $10,000, and then they give you an item. This isn't advertised on the website. This is just a deal that happens. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to expect that to happen. Because I remember the fucking, the hero we didn't deserve, but we needed, Alex Sensual, exposed, uh, there was a server, this was like five years ago, it was called Elysium. And there was this girl, I think her name was Shenna, and she was selling stuff and like selling gold and shit. And everybody thought he was insane or crazy, and it turned out that he was right. Alex was unironically right. I think the idea that uh, private server uh, private server administrators will not sell gold or invalidate the integrity of the server for real money is just naive. It, it's a naive delusion that's created by people with the minds of a child. Like, do you really think that somebody isn't going to take that much money? Are you fucking stupid? Yeah, let's be honest. Isn't it better if Blizzard is selling the gold instead of bots? No, it's not better, because the, the reason why it's not better is that it creates a culture around it. But why did she pot? <laughs> yeah, true. They're free, so your logic... They are free, so by your logic, a free game can do this? I didn't say they couldn't do it. I said that it wasn't... It, I said there was no difference in terms of integrity. I'm going to ban you, right? Because you tried to do a, uh, a gotcha. Actually, no, you're in chat a lot. I'm going to give you a 24-hour timeout. Because you tried to do a gotcha on me. Anytime that you do a gotcha, I will respond to it, but it will cost you your account. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a second chance. 
But uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, your misunderstanding of what I said doesn't make me wrong, okay? Just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, so I I'm not saying that these private servers are, uh, you know, the worst thing ever or like all of them are just like awful or anything like that. But the truth is that, you know, Blizzard, or sorry, that the mods doing this effectively severs the... Uh, the relationship that Blizzard is going to have with the classic community. I think this is a bad decision for the moderators to do. And I think that it will have a lot of negative effects in the, in the community in, in a large way. Um, whenever you have like the largest like uh, space that people discuss and consume classic WoW content, which is probably the Reddit, um, and, and it actively promotes pirating the game that the developer is making, well, the developer's not going to communicate with that community anymore, right? Like, you just saw that with Activision and uh, Call of Duty. Uh, you've seen that multiple times with Nintendo. And honestly, I, I don't think they're, or they're really in the wrong there. I mean, it, it, it's not up to the, uh, to the you know, self-appointed moderators of a uh, subreddit to decide what integrity is. I, I, th I find that to be insane. Now, obviously, they can make the decision for themselves, but whenever you want to make the decision for a group of people, I think that it has to have some objective merit to it. And uh, unfortunately, I don't really think this has any. Uh, I think this is a big mistake that the Classic WoW subreddit is making. Uh, I think this will only go to divide the player base and Blizzard farther uh, between understanding each other. And I think that what's really sad about it is that we saw the opposite of this in effect maybe a week ago whenever Classic WoW hardcore servers were released. You saw a... Um, you know, a, a Blizzard, a Blizzard representative, uh, Agrand, uh, come on to Sarth's channel and uh, actually announce a new thing in the Classic WoW subreddit. So not only boost Sarth's channel, but also uh, give the community what they want, talk directly with the community. And posts like this and actions like this make things like that pretty much impossible to do. That's the truth. Sarth was already doing Blizzard content. Exactly, because this wasn't happening. So, like, you think of it, so so obviously Agrand isn't the one that makes the decision to come on that stream, right? There's, like, a, there's a group of people that make this decision, and the group of people that make that decision are not going to want to promote a element of the community that actively promotes pirating their product. It's just not going to happen. And it, it, it's the exact same as Kotaku. It's the exact same as the Kotaku Nintendo situation. Is that in the same way that Nintendo, or sorry, Kotaku does not have the moral authority to dictate what Nintendo can and can't exercise its rights on, I think that uh, the subreddit does not also have that authority to dictate what is and is not ethical uh, to Blizzard. I completely agree, but why does it matter? Let me talk about why it matters. So. As classic WoW servers are being developed, this is a very formative time in the life cycle of classic WoW. And the reason why is because it's about to reset in one way or another. Uh, Agrand said on the uh, interview that Sarth had with him, uh, he said that there is something coming out that will effectively be Season of Mastery 2. Is this Classic Plus? Is it something like that? I don't know. But it seems like it's probably not Cataclysm. So what does that mean? That means that obviously there's going to be a new wave of classic content coming out very soon. And whenever that wave of classic content comes out, it's very unfortunate that the main avenue to provide feedback for classic content, this well has been poisoned. Now this, th this group of people is associated with piracy and like negative bad stuff for the company. Do you see what I'm saying? And so it will hurt because obviously, like for example, Wrath of the Lich King. There was a lot of feedback that Blizzard received about the item levels of Olduvar, and a lot of that feedback was congregated on the Classic WoW subreddit primarily, and also feedback in regards to different changes and like just little things, right? Little bugs, like they they changed the uh, vertical or sorry the water pathing in uh, in Classic uh, original Classic. The well has been poisoned by Blizzard. Backlash is very needed, and this is the ultimate form. But it's not because Blizzard holds all the cards. This is like this is the equivalent of like a five year old throwing his plate on the floor whenever he's told that he has to wash the dishes. It doesn't really do anything. Because Blizzard can just simply have this they can just have this subreddit taken down. Like you, you if if they want to, they can have it taken down. You you can't have a subreddit up that uses assets that are by Blizzard 
and on top of that, advocates pirating their products. Another one would pop up. Yeah, of course it would. But like the other one that pops up would be one one hundredth the size. And then that one would just get banned too. And then it would be one one thousandth the size. It would immediately get rid of it. R slash WoW servers. The truth is that WoW servers isn't an influential enough subreddit. So it's under Blizzard's radar. They don't really care about it. That's why you have people all the time. Like there's all the times like on like a... Uh, like Twitter, or not Twitter, but on, on Twitch, where somebody will do something that will, uh, you know, be bad. It'll be against the rules, and then they don't get banned for it. Well, the reason why is because, like, Twitch doesn't care. They don't even know who they are. So that's the real reason. True Blizzard goes that route, they'll just alienate their fan base further. It doesn't matter. I mean, whenever you have a fan base that's actively promoting uh, pirating your product, why is it a problem to alienate that person? So if somebody is stealing from you, wouldn't you want to alienate them? I mean, it's just, it's completely illogical that Blizzard should n should be okay with this. Our such piracy is up after all this time. Why would Reddit take down a WoW sub on it? Well, I don't know what the nuances are to it. Um, I think that, uh, you know, for example, if there was, here, let me ask you a question. Uh, if there was a subreddit that was very popular, that was posting links to Disney movies, that were fully full-length Disney movies that you could watch for free online. How long do you think that would exist? There is. How big is it? Yeah, how many people use it? What's it called? What's the subreddit? I'm gonna go to it right now. I don't want a band. Sure. I think that part that the reality is that not a lot of people use it, and because of that, uh, it, it's going to uh, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And also, I think that let, let's go ahead and let's assume that Blizzard doesn't shut down the server. You say Agrand is less likely to come on because of this? Yes, I absolutely think so. Because Sarth is part of the classic WoW community, and Blizzard as a whole, like, and, and I, I will make this very, very clear. So Genshin, uh, not, well, not Gen, Genshin's different. Like, I, I don't know, like, that's, that's a totally different thing. They're in China. Who the fuck cares what they do? What I'm saying is that the classic WoW subreddit promoting piracy and being the biggest hub for classic WoW players to talk about the game is harmful between the relationship that players have with Blizzard. If this somehow is hard for you to understand, you are insane. Of course that's the case. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Piracy equals stealing. I don't want to get into whether piracy is stealing or not. Uh, so anyway, the point that I'm making is that... Uh, this will hurt the relationship Blizzard has with the Classic WoW community in a very big way. And I think that the moderators of the subreddit taking this executive action on allowing promotion of pirated content on their platform will be an overall negative to the community, and it will hurt Classic WoW in the long run. That's basically what I'm saying. Token hurt the relationship a lot more than this. I think that that's just a justification. And also, you're right, but like, just because the token hurt the relationship doesn't make it okay to promote piracy for the game. Sure. Like, absolutely. Like, let's say the token did hurt the relationship. Absolutely. Blizzard kills WoW, more people free in the MMO community. I don't think they're killing WoW, I just think there's people that are mad about it. The annoying part is these people decided on behalf of everyone, they single-handedly destroyed our bridge to communicate. Yeah, I think so. I think this is a big mistake. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and read some of the comments here and uh, what some of the people think. And, and also, I, I want to talk a little bit about um, talk a little bit about the actual issue because obviously, like I'm shitting on the uh, the, the mods for class R slash Classic WoW. Uh, I'm definitely shitting on them, but I, I share their frustration. I think that this is a massive Blizzard L. This absolutely sucks that Blizzard is adding the WoW token into Wrath of the Lich King Classic. This is garbage. Fuck Blizzard for doing this. It sucks. And I will say that it makes me substantially less likely to want to come back and play the game. And I think that really a lot of people don't understand like how corrosive the WoW token is. So what the WoW token does is that, and this is the way that I see it and a lot of other people that have any sort of like a, a mindset that's towards... Um, like uh, optimization, right? Which is a lot of people that play MMOs. Is that you will itemize your time into the dollar amount of a WoW token. 
So right now a WoW token is twenty, uh, sorry, twelve thousand gold, right? So would you rather farm five hundred gold or a thousand gold an hour, or work two hours at your job and buy a WoW token and then have twelve thousand gold? And as soon as you realize that 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 is so much more advantageous, you will just always buy tokens. So what it does is that it creates an amortized value of a dollar amount. It itemizes every single action that you do, and it turns it into a dollar amount. And this happened in Retail WoW. And it didn't happen overnight, but it happened over five years. It happened over 10 years. I think the WoW token came out about 10 years ago, but eight years ago, somewhere around there. And what ended up happening is that now everything is is bought with WoW tokens. Everything has a dollar amount and everything like that. Eight years? Yeah. People have that mentality, already buy gold? No. And, and somebody else said that. I, I think that you're right that a lot of people will still buy gold even with the WoW token. And also... Think about it like this. This is why I said I replied to somebody's tweet like this. How many of you guys for farm have farmed for a 1% mount? A 1% chance is enough to make you go do something. In the same way that a 1% chance of getting banned is enough to make people not do something. I understand that a lot of people will still buy gold. And of course there are people that are like that. However, in general, not getting banned at all is worth a lot more than buying gold. It's a huge deterrent. Yes, it's a massive deterrent. Like, I'll tell you this. I have bought many, 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 many WoW tokens. I bought a lot of WoW tokens. I never bought gold. I have never bought gold in my entire history of playing WoW. Why not let the WoW token be a drop in raids? <sighs> anyway, so... No, seriously, like, I, I really mean it. Like, I actually never bought gold. Like, it's it's not, is it really that crazy to think? I mean, come on. So, uh, look, <laughs> good one. The, the point that I'm making here is that the fact that your account could be actioned and you could lose your account was a massive deterrent for a huge amount of people to buy gold. Because even if the chance is 1%, people still wouldn't take it. But if the chance is 0% and there's no possibility of you getting banned, that opens up a completely different theory, uh, possibility. You get to go off from viewers. Quint, Quint TV, let me tell you something, all right? Back whenever you were probably too young to play this game, I was making gold guides. Whenever you were in middle school, I was past that point in my life. Just keep that in mind. I had so much gold, I had to trade it to my mom's accounts. I had to have her hold gold for me because I was making so much of it. I don't do that anymore because it's easier to just get people to trade me gold. But yeah, I bought my vanilla, I bought my, my vanilla WoW epic mount. What are you talking about? Like in, in my mind, I think the WoW token is worse than anything else in the store. That's just me. I think the WoW token is, it, it's worse than mounts. It's worse than pets. It's worse than faction transfers. It's worse than name changes. It's worse than uh, level boosts. That level boost is probably the second worst, to be fair. Uh, actually, I would say maybe faction transfers are. It depends on how you look at it. But either way, uh, le level boosts are also bad, but not as bad as the WoW token. The WoW token is the single worst thing in the entire game in terms of a microtransaction. In, ter like, in the context of it damaging the integrity of the game. So for me, what is the difference now between Retail WoW and Wrath of the Lich King Classic? Well, on Wrath of the Lich King Classic, my warrior does more damage. That's about it. This is why Microsoft needs to buy Activision. Do you think it would change? Personally, I don't really think so. I don't think Microsoft would really have a lot of purview on things like this. I think they would probably just leave that up to Blizzard. I think that in terms of uh, Microsoft leadership, it would be more about like, you know, what happens after Wrath of the Lich King and how it's integrated into Game Pass or, you know, like their general product offerings. Uh, that's what I would expect. Have you seen the retail video with 200 Moonkin bots farming? Yeah, I made it. Anyway, so let's look at a few other comments that people have to say about this. This is the funniest subreddit on the internet right now. 
Private servers having high integrity is news to me. Yep, it absolutely is. The meltdown from the subreddit today about the token is going to be so entertaining. What, what did Blizzard do this time? <laughs> Turtle boys will be feasting. Also, by the way, um, Dylan texted me. This was like maybe like a month ago. Dylan texted me not to promote Turtle Wow because his brother was playing on a server in Turtle Wow and he said that Joe Rogan played on their server and the mods of Turtle Wow permabanned his account for saying it. So Blizzard's, com uh, sorry, Dylan is completely done with Turtle Wow. He's past that point in his life. Fuck Turtle Wow. That place is a joke. Okay? <laughs> So, yeah, because they banned his brother. Anyway, so let's see what the other people have to say. Um, uh, I don't see how people are even defending Blizzard for adding the token like how. It's to counter bots when clearly and evidently it doesn't do shit to the botting population. Have a look at retail. It's only an excuse to milk the player base and kill their 2006-2008 re-release of classic MMORPG. Um, I do think that you have substantially less gold sellers whenever you don't have a WoW token. Or sorry, substantially more. Like, if you don't have a WoW token, the amount of people, the amount of gold that you can sell is way higher. Of course. Of course the WoW token cuts down on it. Like, you guys, I mean, like, remember how many times there were, like, these advertisements and, and trade chat? Did y'all ever have, like, the uh, those, like, Chinese gold farmers that could, like, die and then make the letters for their website in the air? Did you guys ever have that? That was so cool, right? Well, anyway, you don't have that as much anymore. Yeah, it was funny as fuck it was. And so, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, that's not the way the game is anymore. And I think the WoW token did have a pretty big impact on reducing people that are buying gold. Because also, like, it, it's kind of like people that buy gold in, in Lost Ark. There are, a lot, there are people, there are a lot of G2G enjoyers in Lost Ark, but there are also a lot of people that just simply buy gold on the, uh, on the trade shop. Huge W from the mod team. Kudos, guys. I don't care about token one way or another. I'm just here for the drama. Yep, true. Um, wow, servers so dramatic. LMAO. This is the most cringe mod post I've ever seen, and that's a high bar. Yeah, I do also, like, I, I, I want to reiterate again how bad of a decision and how selfish of a decision this is by the mods. Because, like, People can always vote with their feet and vote with their wallets. And a good example of that being the case is the reason why this sub exists. Whenever the mods go and they try to, you know, like, fucking, uh, you know, throw everything in the garbage and be like, Oh, well, fuck this. We're not going to listen to Blizzard. We're going to fucking support private servers. Yeah! Fuck Blizzard! Well, what's going to end up happening is Blizzard's not going to talk to them. Classic WoW hardcore servers are going to be worse because there's less collaboration between Blizzard and the mod team and or, and the Reddit. And the player base suffers because of it. So I do hope the uh, the mods are happy with themselves. Uh, this will be something that will take probably uh, years for, uh, for them to get over, for Blizzard to get over. See so yeah, how true it'll be a shit show? Exactly. It's just such a it's such a selfish decision for them to do this. Reddit mods probably the most tremendously online people on the world in the in the internet. I think a lot of people that are Reddit mods uh, have like a sense of like authority because they're you know banning people and fucking making decisions all day on, on people. But what they have to keep in mind is that like you are just a Reddit mod, right? And it's like it doesn't like. Uh, nobody really cares. You know, it's not a big deal. And uh, also, you know, a, a Reddit mod, uh, you know, their power is only as power. Their power is only as important or meaningful as uh, the, the community lets lets it become. Because if people just leave the subreddit because they feel like it's not a good subreddit for whatever reason, well, then guess what? Um, you know, people are going to be unhappy, and uh, you know, that then then they don't really matter anymore. This move proves they do have some power of, of nuisance, though. A squirrel has a power of nuisance. How can you whine about tokens and suggest people play on private servers that are rotten to core with pay to win? Yep, that's true. It saves you $15 a month. Yeah, that is also true. Uh, the fact that the token doesn't ruin the integrity of the game, but RDF does, was pretty telling. Yeah, it is weird that they don't have random dungeon finder, but they do have this. 
Well, anyway, I think that we talked about this a lot. Um, I'll go ahead and read some comments, and then I want to move on. But uh, anyway, uh, all, all things considered here, this is the world that we live in now. Classic WoW has a WoW token. A WoW token has been added into Wrath of the Lich King Classic. It is active right now. You can check it right now. Do you agree with it, though, with the idea of paying WoW sub with gold? No, I don't, because paying WoW sub with gold, uh, it... Um, uh, it presupposes a, uh, a a real money or an RMT transaction, or not RMT transaction. It, it presupposes RMT. The other thread had good comments. Uh, the Reddit uh, shits on the game for having players to pay for no content, trash game, no fixes, complains about game being free to play by grinding out 16k. It's not about it being free to play by grinding out 16k. It's about what the other person does after you grind out 16k. I don't want to play a game that somebody can. Well, I, I play games like this. This is not even really true, right? I, I play a lot of games where people can buy gold. I like retail WoW. I mean, fuck. Um, but I, I would prefer to play a game that you can't buy power. I don't like games that you can just spend money and your character becomes more powerful. And I don't care about like, oh, but that doesn't help you clear the raids. I don't care. I don't want to have my character become more powerful because of the money that I spend on the game. It's literally that simple. There's no games like that anymore? Yeah, there are. Uh, the new Jedi Survivor game is like that, and so is Elden Ring. Those are two that came right off the top of my head. Also, Remnant's not like that as far as I know. Final Fantasy XIV isn't like that. Diablo IV isn't like that. Hogwarts isn't like that. Hollow Knight isn't like that. Path of Exile is kind of not, it's not really like that. Um, Valheim isn't like that. Rust isn't like that. Legend of Zelda isn't like that. I mean, there's a lot, man. You don't have to play games like that. V Rising isn't like that. Blizzard doesn't give a fuck. Uh, Blizzard didn't give the community power with gold. The community gave gold power with gold bot G uh, runs and GDKP. So you're blaming the addition of the WoW token on GDKP runs? Then why did the WoW token get added after they removed Master Loot? Come on. To be fair, they did not remove it at that point, but the Master Loot from non-guild groups was removed. It was removed in the pre-patch for Wrath of the Lich, or sorry, for Warlords of Draenor. Dude, it's 100% because of GDKP. How could you disagree? Sure, I'll disagree very easily. Because GDKPs didn't exist whenever the WoW token was originally added into the game. What's your response to that? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, it, it's that simple. And uh, he's saying the reason they added it to WoW Classic is because of GDKPs. So, do you think GDKPs are going to go away? Like, the, the, we had GDKPs in Classic WoW. Remember that video that I did about the guy that bought Gressel Dawn of Ruin for like 200,000 gold? Like, we had GDKPs back then. We had them in, in fucking TBC. They were huge. They were massive. And now in Wrath, halfway through Wrath, over halfway through Wrath, they randomly added in because now it's because of GDKPs? And Vanilla, yeah. it's, it's been, Yeah, I did GDKPs in 2008. The reason WoW tokens in Classic WoW is because Blizzard's too fucking stupid to moderate bots. The Blizzard isn't stupid. I don't think they're stupid at all. I think they don't want to invest the money into customer service to, uh, to, to combat bots. I think that's really what it is. I think that Blizzard knows how to deal with it. They choose not to. Doesn't GDKP create an approach to, the, to gaming where you accumulate gold to better your character? Ah, oh, God. The problem is not that you can accumulate gold to better your character. The problem is that you can accumulate gold through spending real money to better your character. I love the idea of a fat, greasy, ugly goblin being carried through carried through a raid by like a bunch of fucking slaves on on top of like a Xerxes platform in 300 while they all feed him all the gear and he tosses them coins. Okay? I love that aesthetic because that is true emergent gameplay. I think that's fucking amazing. Some Jabba the Hutt shit. But whenever the person who's doing that is just spending real money, the entire wheel breaks. Now it's no longer an RP. Now it's real life. Why does Max defend the token? Uh, defend like the to and like the token so much? Why does Max defend and like the token? Because 
what I'm assuming is that in his mind, he doesn't view it as a problem because he only plays the game for progression. So because Max is a progression player, gold is irrelevant because the only thing that matters is clearing the raid. So it doesn't really matter what other players do as long as they're not doing it before him. And on top of that, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? I think that's actually more important. Right. Uh, well, what he's saying is that it, it presupposes that Blizzard is just simply not going to do anything about it. And I think that a lot of people have a very big defeatist attitude and defeatist mindset on like Blizzard dealing with bots. Because New World doesn't have that many bots. Final Fantasy doesn't have that many bots. Mini games don't have a lot of bots. I refuse to accept that Blizzard, as a multi-billion dollar game, cannot regulate people, and, and also like GDKPs. How about this? How about flag every single account that has more than 200,000 gold on it? And then just look into the transactions on how they got the gold. Think about it like this. How many of you guys, if you were given all of the tools to research and look into a person's account, could find out if they were buying gold? And you could do so with like 99% certainty. Easy, right? Easy. Like not even a question? Yeah. With, with, within like seconds. So how is it that I know it, you know it, everybody else knows it, except Blizzard? Because they don't want to spend the money on it. 